Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another gorgeous, blustery day in the garden. Uh, the other day I saw my good friend Nate Bright from Nate Bright Art do what he called a Nautilus pour using a sink strainer. Now, this was one of the first techniques I actually saw with paint pouring. Uh, I saw a lady named Farzi, Art by Farzi, doing these sink strainer pours and they were just, it was mesmerizing to watch. It was so pretty. Um, and Nate did one the other day that just kind of like, I blew my mind and I was like, I know I have one of these somewhere. So I found it and I want to give it a try because I've never done one on camera before. So let's play a little bit and see what happens. This is a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. And I'm actually going to tear off a piece of this to use because we're using this big old honkin' split cup and this round edge, sometimes it's hard to catch it. It's not going to be that important in this because we're pouring it into here. But one of you guys had suggested, instead of trying to catch the drip, I just put the paper in and took it away like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. These split cups with the handles are from paintpourstore.com. So make sure you check out their stuff. Um, they're really awesome people. Very, very nice. And you can choose how many chambers you have. You can choose what size cup you get. So awesome stuff. We are still using that same color palette from our Groovy series. Um, we did the Groovy Flip and Lip was the last one we did. We did the Groovy Firebird and we had Groovy Springtime, which was awesome. And I love this color palette with these Quinacridone Violet and the, I'll list all the colors here in the description box. Okay, so let me show you the colors we're using real quick. This one is Windsor and Newton Violet. Very, very pretty color. Then we have our Quinacridone Violet from Golden's. Everything is mixed with mixed pour tonight. You can get your own mix by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com and she will hook you up. Uh, this one is Golden's Pyro Orange. And this one is Amsterdam Azo Lemon Yellow. Very bright. And this is our uh, Titanium White from Amsterdam mixed with a little tiny bit of the Deco Art Americana Satin Enamels in pure white. And we have our Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And the last one we have, which I'm not sure if we're gonna use, this is Quinacridone Rose from Amsterdam. So we might use that as a flow extender. I'm still not entirely sure how I wanna do all this. So in Nate's video, he did something really cool that he layered the two outer chambers and used white in the middle. And it was really, really cool, but he only used three colors. I kinda of wanna use more than that, so I think I'm gonna use all five chambers. But I am going to start with the white in the center chamber. My paint's not real thin. It's not super, super thick. And I don't think I'm going to fill this up all the way either. Okay, so that's about three quarters full right now. Um, let's see, let's put the Windsor and Violet on the side over here. That's about the same level I have as the white. And then I'm going to put the quinacridone violet on this side. Oh, that's good enough paint. Yeah, pretty easy for singing. Not quite as much of that one as we did of the violet, but let's see if we can get any more. Herbs. Herbs. Okay. And then on this side, we're going to put some of the yellow. So, so not just the next line, we go, we all live in a yellow submarine. <laughs> a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Yeah. Very funny, actually. <laughs> Any jokes for us today? Or no. No? Okay, that's all right. Next time. <laughs> okay, we have our cup layered. We have our grabby thing standing by. Um, Nate poured into a puddle of white. I think I want to pour into a puddle of gold because I like doing that. And he actually had spread out a flow extender. So maybe we'll just do that with the gold. Just spread it out around our corners and edges. Let's see where my spatula. Actually, did remember one. Okay. What's gold and smells like blue paint? What? Gold paint. 
Now that's a true dad joke right there. Because you go, joke. oh. So if it's groaning, groan worthy or cringe worthy, it's a dad joke. Yep. Now this is just to give it something to slide on. Okay. Whew, I'm excited about this one. I haven't done this for in a very, very, very long time. Okay, so. This may be the first time I've seen you do the flow extender first. Well, if you do it first, it's called the base coat. Oh. <laughs> and I have done it first before. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to take our sink strainer, we're going to put it right in the middle. Does that look like it's the middle of the canvas? That looks like it's the middle of the canvas. Okay. All right. And we're just going to do a ring pour right in the middle of that. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Okay. Here we go. I'm excited about this. float down because it's getting kind of full. And I think actually I'm going to rotate the canvas this time. It'd be cool if you could rotate the strainer. Well, Nate actually had his on a spinner. And it was very cool. What, did he rotate the spinner under the thing? Yeah, while he was moving it, so I just, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know my limitations. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Catch that. Try to use your fancy. No, oh, yeah. It didn't seem like there was a lot coming out. Sometimes they seem like they're never ending, man. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Okay. Um just gonna give this a second to let all the paint get out of there. There is some really cool stuff happening. I think we need more flow extender though. Let's see, let's go around this with a little bit of the violet. recommend when you're using these split cups that are 3d printed that you have a tub of water standing by and you just dunk it right in the tub of water right when you're done so it doesn't have a chance to dry in there the lines are really pretty and I love this edge I'm gonna show this side this is really cool it's very great it's awesome well that's why this whole series has been groovy <laughs> okay that reminds me of those old Paintings from the 60s that they used on Jimi Hendrix yeah. album covers and stuff. Okay, let's lift this up very slowly and just 
just let all the paint strain out of there. And now I'm gonna say now might be a good time for the cardboard. Oh. It's alright. Okay. So I'm gonna do our famous Fiona finger dip in the center to sort of fix that, just like that. Small oh. step on the dismount. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's torch this. So a couple of observations just right off the bat. I can see where I stopped and turned the canvas because it's a little wiggly. Um, maybe my paint was thinner. Then Nate's and also I think that what he was doing while he had it on the spinner and he was spinning it while he was pouring it helped keep the shape a lot. He also spun his out and I didn't actually think about that very very well before we started. <laughs> so, I think we're going to tilt this and just take our chances and cross our fingers and see how it goes. Okay. You can tilt it around in a circle though. Stretch it out. If you guys haven't seen Nate, please go check out his channel, Nate Bright Art. He's really cool. He's such a nice, nice person. And he's been doing these awesome pours. He's been doing these disruption pours. Did I tell you about those, HOA? Uh, I think I saw one. Yeah, where he uses the like the bolts or the lug yeah. nuts thing. <laughs> you know, I love the lug nuts one. Okay, we're gonna go off of that corner. I kinda like how it's stretching out there. We're going to come back to center. It's almost like a fingerprint. Okay. Bring it back to the middle. down here is more of a flow extender because I don't want to lose all that purple. Very galactic looking right there. Back towards the center. <laughs> it's kind of nifty actually. <laughs> what do you think, Joey? I like it. Okay. I'm going to torch it one more time. 
We are starting to get a lot of cells, especially in the parts where we stretched it out, and that's perfectly okay with me. I'm loving this. This is actually really neat. That's a lot of orange right there, but that's okay, you know? This is kind of interesting in the center, not exactly what I had kind of wanted. I'm kind of wondering if we put my, if I dip my finger in some paint and swirled it around there, now what do you think HOA would be cool, or just leave it like it is? In the, in the solid parts? In this thing. Mm, I like just it leave it, it alone. Yeah. even it out a little bit. It's kind of nifty. That's really cool. It's kind of like troll hair. I love yeah. these lines in here. That's amazing. And that one cell is just perfect. But this part is gorgeous. I'm loving this whole edge. Really neat. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Center reminds me of troll hair. Remember those little trolls? Yeah. <laughs> troll hair don't care. <laughs> All right. Well, this is looking pretty neat. Let's uh, let's torch it and see what happens. You might get some more cells popping up into here. These like bubbles are trippy, man. That's so cool. Dang. turn it around so you guys can see it from my point of view. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Okay, so this was really neat. This was our sink strainer, uh, sort of Nautilus, inspired by Nate Bright Art. But I really like this. There's several really cool things happening in here. Let me wipe my hands off so we can point and not drip. I love these lines of pyro orange in here through that Windsor Newton Violet. I love this section right here. It's just like gorgeous to me. And these cells with the quinacridone violet popping up through there. I love the pyro orange next to that quinacridone violet and the Windsor Newton Violet. This part looks a little weird, but there is some gold in there, so it could get better. This part is really trippy with like these bubbles. And this edge is really pretty too. But I love these lines that are there from the strainer. That's so cool. And this edge is kind of these ghosty, wispy thingies. So this is really, really neat. I'm actually really digging on this. I think it's cool. I will show you guys this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> so this is a few days later. Um, this dry is so cool. I am so happy with this piece. I really love all of these things that are happening in here. Make sure we're in focus. All these little itty bitty chubby cells are so cute and I love that right there, that part right there with the dark, dark purple and the orange. Some of that yellow popping through. I love these lines. This was our sink strainer pour. The center kind of looks like a thumbprint to me, but <laughs> This right here that is so cool those beautiful lines from the sink strainer and I love how we can see that quinacridone violet underneath the darker purple with some of the cells coming in beautiful beautiful stuff and up here this really fiery corner that orange the pyro orange Just so cool <laughs> this looks like this is going to be our groovy galactic jellyfish. <laughs> I think it's so cool how it's just sort of like, I don't know, like a jellyfish swimming in some galaxy or galactic ocean. Pretty neat. I do like the colors in here too. Cool stuff. But 
this part. This is my absolute favorite. Sorry, you can hear my children laughing like crazy people in the background, but that's actually a good sound. <laughs> I love this. So there we go. Thank you so much to Nate Bright. And uh, I also saw my friend Fiona. Fiona Art was trying out a motorized spinner from the paint pour store. And that was a really, really fun video also. So I, just, I love Fiona so much. It's so cool when we're kind of on the same page because this actually happens a lot. <laughs> I love you, Fiona, and I liked your motorized spinner. That was pretty nifty. Um, and thank you again to Nate Bright Art for the inspiration. He's such a cool guy. Please go sure. Please be sure and go check out his channel, uh, Nate Bright Art. He's you know so innovative and creative and fearless, and it's actually he's a really good artist, and it's really fun to watch. So be sure to check him out, like and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Bye bye. <laughs> He's asleep with the ball. No, not asleep. Okay. <laughs> Can you have it? Can you have it? Can you have it? Can you have it? You want to go play? He's been using his paws a lot lately. That's what you said yesterday. <laughs> oh, silly boy. You silly baby. <laughs> Is it a snore? Baxter. Say happy Sunday, everybody. <laughs>